All right. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a mulatto video, um, but I came across these, and so I thought I picked them up. I thought I'd talk about them. So what you're looking at are three different Star Trek models, and they're pretty well destroyed. Um, but they, I got them cheap on a uh, trading uh, source. <laughs> you know, like a, uh, like a, I don't know, like a flea market thing. And they were selling them, and they claimed to be complete, and uh, just, you know, the boxes were trash. So, uh, basically, this is the Enterprise B. Um, the Cutaway Enterprise um, and the USS Reliant, uh, which is pretty cool because the Reliant wasn't open whatsoever. Um, it was just mangled. Uh, so that's definitely the, the score right there, the Reliant. Um, I actually have these kits in um, other forms. I have the newer release of, a Reli of I believe it's the Reliant, and I have a newer release of the Enterprise B, and I have an exact one of these cutaways. So I actually have all of these kits, but I figured for the for the money, um, they were cheap enough. I could afford to either kit bash them, um, or you know build them, and you know if I, you know if things go awry, I, you know good practice for the other ones. <laughs> um, or I can build two different types. You know, I can do one as a cutaway or one as a uh, maybe a, uh, a distressed ship or, you know, one that's been in battle or damaged or something. Um, either or. Um, but they were cheap and so I picked them up. Um, haven't really built too much as far as models go, the last model I did was the Enterprise D. Um, I was going to work on a Star Destroyer, but I didn't happen to come across that um, and get into it. Um, but I just, I had these, I picked them up. I think if I'm gonna build any of them, it'll probably be the cutaway uh, because the cutaway is really cool, and I wanted to build it before. It's mostly easy. These kids, someone's been into this kit. Um, like, see the the decals have been cut, this and that. So, or they look like they have. I don't know. Maybe they haven't. Um, but you can see it's the cutaway, so you get half the saucer, you get the um, the exposed uh, decks, and whatnot. I don't know if this model's complete. It looks complete, and they said that they were. Um, if nothing else, kit bash, you know. But the price was right. So... Um, yeah, see, that to me says like somebody tried to, because it looks like they fit in a couple of pieces, the exposed nacelle. It's a really cool kit. Um, uh, I definitely would like to try and tackle that. Uh, but I swore that I wasn't going to do another kit until I, 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 I wanted to do a lighted kit. No, I swore I wasn't going to do another kit until I did that. And I wanted to do the K7 because it was mostly pretty easy. Um, K7 has acrylic, you know, clear um, parts. And they're pretty easy to do the windows. You can just mask up the windows, you know, um, spray it, and uh, just unmask your windows and, you know, put an LED inside. And there you go. So it's and it's mostly one color and whatnot so you know put it on a base with some LEDs and it would look really cool with the uh, the indicators I think we got a, a blue a green and a red or something 
and then the um, I think these flash on the corners and then the interior lights I don't know that I go all screen accurate this and that just you know make it look pretty cool for fun and uh, but that's an easy build and I swore up and down that that was going to be the one I did next um, there's not a lot of parts to it it's mostly easy it's just a matter of getting the LEDs in there and painting it up and uh, so anyway uh, I thought I wanted to share my, my find of some uh, older uh, Star Trek kits somebody was getting rid of the Reliant was completely not opened so that's a total score the cutaway was opened I'm not sure about that the Enterprise B also looks opened but everything seems to be in bags so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure what these are either, because these are in here. Um, and a couple of them. They look like plans. Um, oh, those are really cool. I'll have to check those out in a little bit more in detail. But uh, that was in the box as well. So maybe I'll be putting those into frames. This one doesn't seem to have decals, as I'm looking at it now. Um, I'm not seeing them, unless they're here, oh, um, there's some decals there, but I don't think that's the full decal kit for this model, but I'm not, not, not sure, it may be, I think the newer ones you can buy a, a, uh, an extra decal kit for this for the um, what, do you, what do they call it, the tiling or effect uh, and also for the Reliant I'm not sure if the Reliant model I have is a Reliant or if it's a Defiant, I'm not sure but it's a newer AMT release anyway, that's where we're at uh, hopefully I'll get a build up soon and uh Get up to videos.